Oh, hello. You've just caught me reading this great new book about the Archives Association of Ontario. It's a real page turner. You wouldn't believe the things those archivists got up to and the contribution they've made to this province. Well, I think it's, I was very pleased to be asked to contribute, um, contributed a chapter on the uh, um, OAA, the predecessor organization to the AAO, but the, uh, it's going to be an important um, book, um, say that immodestly because I'm a contributor, I guess it's immodest, but the, um, I don't think any other provincial archives association in the country has put together its own history in the, uh, in the serious way that this is being done. Um, there's going to be a lot of, um, of cultural history, a lot of archival history. John, as the uh, Provincial Archivist of Ontario, what do you think the importance is of the Archives Association of Ontario? The Archives Association of Ontario is hugely important in bringing together the communities, uh, the archival community of the province, enabling us to work more effectively together to tell the province's stories in a joined up way and really build a strong, vibrant archival community that collects, manages and preserves Ontario's documentary heritage for the future. And we all know how important archives are as part of our storytelling. Paul, oh, what do you have there? I have my, uh, just going through the mind prototype of the new uh, AAO, Organizational History. Oh wow, uh, that, that sounds really interesting. It is, uh, John. It's got a lot of, lot of endnotes. A lot of endnotes. A lot of endnotes. Over 200 endnotes just in the first chapter alone. Uh, well, I think that the archives associations uh, in Ontario and, and Canada-wide have been really important for um, advocating for archives and archivists um, for the last uh, few decades and uh, so capturing their organizational history will be really important for uh, long-term documentation. And part of that is, you know, this book is about the history of the organization and where do you see the value in uh, documenting a history in a book format? For it? Well, having the story of the Archives Association is important because it enables us to learn, to value the people that have gone before us, to understand the contributions they've made. It's not easy building an archival community over a century in a, in a province like Ontario. We need to respect and honour the contributions that our predecessors have made, to value the work that we all do, and, and to take some fun along the way, to understand some of the, the crazy things that have happened in making the province's collective archives what they are today. If we can't value our own stories, how can we be effective stewards of other people's stories going forwards? No, it's a must read, this book. It's really important that we document the province's archival association and take time to reflect on the stories of our own groups as well as those of the communities around us. Oh, hello. Hi, Rob. I see you have the AAO uh, history book there. Yes, it's very interesting. I've been a member of the AO since the, the 1990s, and I never knew when it was founded, and yet it's right here in the history of the AO, and all the people involved in the founding of the organization. That's great. And anyone wanting to find out more about the Archives Association of Ontario and what's between those pages, uh, please donate to our Indiegogo campaign. Yes, definitely donate if you want a copy of this book. Look what happened at the 2002 conference. Wow. I wasn't at that one. Considering that um, I'm actually not from Ontario, uh, I'm from Nova Scotia originally, and I moved to Ontario in uh, 19... Well, I moved to Ontario in 1995, but I moved to Ottawa in 2004. Uh, so I'm relatively newish to, to Ontario. So uh, for me, the importance of the AO uh, and the organizational history certainly is uh, for people who have joined later in the AO or who are not um, uh, from Ontario uh, to understand the organizational history of how the AO developed. As you know, I work with private archives and with private archives, we're always dealing with people in other archives finding, would you be interested in these records? Would you be interested in these papers? Here's some diaries from Northern Ontario. Would you be interested in them? And it helps working with the knowing and participating in the AO, knowing who you're talking to, 
and being able to uh, just pick up the phone and get a hold of them. So it's, uh, it's very helpful for those of us who work in private archives and are collecting archives for dealing with our colleagues across the province. Did you have any short stories that you would be able to uh, add? I have, but I'm afraid they're all under embargo until the second edition comes out, probably in another 20 years' time. <laughs>